Today we are making healthy banana oatmeal pancakes. You're gonna want to stick around for this one. Hey, support us on Patreon. I'm Chef Don McMillan. Let's get started. So please subscribe to our channel. Tap that bell, okay? And definitely leave some comments because if you ever made pancakes before, oatmeal pancakes, banana pancakes, let's share some of that information. And we're gonna get started right now. So to make banana, oatmeal pancakes, we need bananas. So it's best to get a ripe banana. See, look at this one, a little bit of brown on there, a little bit soft. It makes it a little bit easier to mash and also incorporate. Here's the way I open a banana. So I just peel this right here, all right? Look at that. Nice and soft, it's a little bit brown, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and slice some pieces right into your bowl. Just like that. Good, let's move this out of our way. And then we're gonna start mashing. Now I have a potato masher. You may use the back of a spoon if you like, that's okay, but we just wanna mash it up. So you see how nice and soft it is? If you have an electric beater, you could beat that just to get it mashed. But this is the consistency that I'm looking for because when I incorporate all the other ingredients, it's going to flow right in there and it's also gonna give a lot of body to our pancakes. Beautifully mashed bananas. We're gonna add in our liquid ingredients. Okay, first an egg, and I break my egg on a flat surface, just like that, so I get the eggshell in half. And then I'm going to beat the eggs with a fork to just incorporate the egg whites and the egg yolks. And place that right into the bowl. We're going to add in some melted butter. If you wish, you could add in, say, canola oil, a couple of tablespoons would be fine. Milk. I'm using whole milk. I'm sure you could use um, maybe skim milk if you wish, but I think the whole milk does the trick. So now let's get to our dry ingredients. Let's put this butter off to the side because I'm going to be using it in just a minute. So for our in dry ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, a little bit of salt, not much, but we do need a little bit of salt. Let's mix that together. Okay, and now quick oats. So look at the label, be sure it says quick oats. And then we just mix that into the dry ingredients. Okay, so now it's time to make our batter. So I'm going to incorporate the two. Let's put this out here. And we'll just mix in the dry with the wet. Some vanilla. and mix. So when you're mixing your batter, don't over mix it. You may want to use an electric mixer, but if you do, use a paddle, okay? And don't beat it up too much. I don't want your uh, pancakes to be rubbery. So if you think the batter is just a little bit thick, you can always add a little bit of milk, some flours, are milled differently than other flours, so you can just add a little bit of milk to it uh, just to do that. And some, another point that I really wanna make, when you're making your pancake batter, you have to let it rest for about five minutes, okay? Let it rest for five minutes, and then we'll start creating some wonderful breakfast excitement. So here's our batter. I like it to be just the right consistency, so when you have the right consistency, let me just show you a little trick. I don't need the, the beater anymore. 
I have my spoon, so you just put your spoon in there, and when you can just take the batter, and look at this, when you run your finger like that, and it doesn't come back together, then you know you have the right consistency. If it starts running into it, then it's maybe a little bit too thin, and you can just add a little bit more flour, but in this case, it's just perfect. So the next point I wanna make, you know your batter's gonna set for five minutes, you have to preheat your pan. Don't start with a cold pan, it should be preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire on and then just heat the pan, maybe a couple of minutes. That's another trick to making uh, pancakes. But if you don't, the first one and sometimes the second one may not be perfect and that's because the pan is just getting heated and getting correct. And it does take a little while for the whole bottom of the pan to start getting the right temperature. So how do I know my pan is hot? I just put my hand over it and I can feel the heat coming from it. Next tip you wanna know, you can use kitchen spray or if you like, you can use some of that melted butter. But whatever you do, you wanna put a little bit down. Now you might say, hey, Chef Don, you got a non-stick pan. The key I'm gonna give you is that you want a beautiful color, you wanna shine to come out on your pancake. You want that to look good, right? So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of spray. Just like that, not too much. And then I'm going to put in the pancakes and I'm gonna show you another trick. If you just want, this is why they call it pancakes, we're gonna cook it in a pan. You can sometimes cook it on a flat top or a griddle, all right? But you wanna put in about that much, maybe a quarter cup or so. And look at it, look what I'm doing with my pan. Can you see that? I'm just swirling it, just like that. Put it back on the fire. It's gonna take about two minutes on the first side you'll start seeing little bubbles in there. It'll be popping and the bubbles will, will be uh, coming through the center. They start on the edge and they work into the center. I'm going to turn the heat down on my pan now because it's hot enough. And I'm gonna cook it on moderate heat, just about medium heat. So when you're looking in the pan, you start seeing bubbles. The bubbles will start popping up around the edges, working their way to the center. So you want to see little bubbles in there that gives you an indication that your pancake is cooking. Now it cooks mostly on the first side and then half the time when you flip it. So about two minutes on one side and one minute on the other, but you've got to just adjust it because you want to be sure your pan is warm and is cooking the pancakes in the right time. Sometimes I like to just put my spatula here and look underneath and then flip just like that. And now let it cook for about a minute or so on, on the other side, just so you get a nice brown on it. Well, here are our wonderful pancakes. Listen, you gotta subscribe, tap that bell. We'd love to hear that bell ring. Check out the comments. Let us know what you think about it, okay? And the recipes are directly below. So let's hook up these beautiful, oh my goodness, these pancakes are so good, but we're gonna hook them up with some honey. Let's, to, let's do that. I've already got some butter on there. Let's drizzle some honey in there. Daisy, what do you think? It's pretty good. You like that, huh? Okay. So our executive producer, Laurie, is right here. And just to prove that these pancakes are so good, we're going to have to sample them. Because remember, they are absolutely simple and delicious. delicious. Yes, delicious. Okay. All right. We're going to, we just, we just have to. We've been standing here, getting this thing correct all the time, smelling these pancakes, but now is the time. Okay. Okay, and I'm Laurie McMillan, and this is the newest member of our uh, YouTube team. This is uh, Daisy McMillan. She's four years old. We just adopted her a week ago, so she's gonna help us taste out some of our recipes from now on. Well, so let's try these pancakes. All right. Mmm, yep. Mm. Daisy, you want a piece? You've got to make these. Make extra. Make some friends, yes. Daisy, you want to try something? Mmm. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, all right. Don't eat. we got to make more pancakes.